What's going on guys? It's your boy Haiga back with yet another Borderlands 3 video. For today, I got a nice flak build for you guys. It's pretty similar to the Zane build I made in the fact that it's going to be one skill setup, but I will give two variable setups, one for bosses and one for mobs. I've been testing things out with flak since the new changes and I've come up with what I find to be a pretty decent build. I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get into it. Starting out with the Hunter or the Orange Tree, the first skill we have is Interplanetary Stalker. It's a hunter kill skill and for every enemy you kill, you gain a stack and each stack increases all of flak's damage dealt. I have it maxed out at 5 out of 5, and since my class mod for my mob setup increases it to 6 out of 5, I gain 12% increased damage per stack. It also gives you additional bonuses on what you kill. For robots, you get corrosive damage increased 9% per stack, humans is 18% action skill damage per stack, and for killing beasts, you get 9% increased movement speed per stack. Obviously, those additional buffs would be added on to the default damage buff it already gives. The next skill we have is Hunter's Eye. It gives flak bonuses when fighting different enemies. Again, kind of similar to Interplanetary stalker i have this maxed out at five out of five and my class mod gives two points again for the mob running setup so at seven out of five you get 21 percent increased crit damage against humans 42 percent increased armor damage against robots and 28.2 percent damage reduction against beasts this is obviously a good skill for mobs but it's honestly even better for bosses and i will get into that a bit later next skill we have is two fang i have it maxed out at five out of five because it gives you 25 percent chance to shoot an extra projectile per shot that's about all you need to know it's super good for adding damage next line of skills i have big game maxed at three out of three flax hunter skills become more effective and have longer duration this is going to heavily benefit our hunter kill skills because we have a few of those in this build speaking of which we have the most dangerous game as the next skill it's a hunter kill skill i have it maxed out at three out of three whenever flak kills a badass or stronger enemy he gains increased critical hit damage gun damage and handling for two minutes which is a super long time for a buff the gun damage is an increase of 25 percent crit damage 10 percent and handling 33.3 percent for doing things that have a lot of enemies like slaughter shaft or any missions on mayhem three you usually run into a lot of badass mobs so it can be good for that but this will also heavily benefit our boss setup again i will explain that later on once we get into the class mods next skill we have is grim harvest which increases your gun damage and action skill damage i have it at three out of five so it's gun damage increased nine percent and action skill damage increased by 30 percent second to last skill we have is galactic shadow which increases flax crit damage and enemies are less likely to attack you simple skill nice bonus the final skill in the orange tree is megavore which gives flak a chance to score critical hits with weapons against any part of the enemy so it doesn't just have to be their weak spot or their head you can still land a critical it's sort of similar to how the fadeaway builds used to let you crit forever when you were in fadeaway but this isn't an action skill and this is just by chance but definitely still a good skill moving on to the next tree we have the master or the blue skill tree first skill is persistence hunter which increases flax gun damage and action skill duration that's a nice plus which is why i have it maxed out at three out of three for the next skill i went with go for the eyes which makes the first melee attack your pet hits on an enemy a critical and upgrading it increases your pet's critical hit damage so honestly not too bad for fighting mobs this skill is at two out of five the next skill we have is who rescued who which i also have at two out of five this one is more so for the mobs but it allows you to heal your pet when you deal damage and whenever your pet deals damage flak regens health for a few seconds which is nice for survivability next skill is he bites when your pet takes damage it returns some of that damage back to the enemies i have this maxed out at three out of three which reflects 15 percent damage the next skill is frenzy it's not a hunter kill skill unfortunately it's just a regular old hunter skill which is why i only have it at two out of five but when your pet deals damage flak and his pet gain a stack of frenzy and for each stack flak and his pet deal increased damage by 1.6 percent it maxes out at 10 stacks, which means in total you can get a max of 16% increased damage. Next skill we have is Hive Mind. When Flak takes damage, a portion of all the damage he takes is then shared to the pet. I have it maxed out at 3 out of 3, so we share 15% of all the damage we take with our pet. But remember, because of who rescued who, as long as we're shooting enemies, we can heal our pet back up. Second to last skill in the blue tree is Barbaric Yawp. This skill actually just got a huge buff. It increases the pet bonuses that Flak receives by 200%. It used to be only 100%, so this is super helpful. If you put your mouse over some of the pets you can see that they give bonuses like health regen elemental damage gun damage fire rate etc so this takes whichever bonus you receive from that pet and boosts it by 200 percent or triples it so for example with the great horn skag instead of getting five percent damage and ten percent gun damage you get 15 percent damage and 30 percent gun damage as for the last skill we have pack tactics simple skill that increases the damage and health of flak and his pet since we have it at two out of three it increases our health and damage by ten percent now moving on as far as action skills 
skills and action skill augments, I believe the main one most people will want to be using is Gamma Burst. The reason being, one of the augments you can apply to it is called Empathic Rage, which basically gives you 20% increased damage as long as Gamma Burst is active. There is also another augment called Endurance. For every kill Flack or his pet gets during Gamma Burst, the duration is extended by 3 seconds and pet damage is increased by 10%. This stacks up to 5 times. So you can pop Gamma Burst against bosses and even if the pet can't attack the boss, you will still get the increased damage. However, another action skill setup I've tried is Rack Attack, but I use this more so for bosses, not the mobs. I don't use it for damage, but Rack Attack is an action skill that can be used very quickly and because of that, it can pair nicely with Anointed Weapons. Most Anointed Weapons give buffs for when your action skill ends, and since Rack Attack doesn't have a duration, you can just use it. You can activate buffs on your weapons right away. But if you don't have any Anointed Weapons or if your Anointed Buffs aren't too good, you can just use the Gamma Burst. Or for just fighting mobs, you're going to want to use Gamma Burst as well. For the variable items, I'm going to start off with the boss build. For the class mod, I'm using a Bounty Hunter, and this will explain some of the decisions I made for skills. With this class mod, Flak has a 3% chance to activate any purchased hunt kill skill when dealing gun damage. So that means while dealing gun damage, I get a 3% chance to activate my skills like Interplanetary Stalker or the most dangerous game. I'm assuming that when they say dealing gun damage, they mean per shot that hits the enemy, you get a 3% chance. So the more bullets you shoot, the higher the chance to activate the skills. This basically allows you to activate kill skills without getting kills, which is why it's so good for bosses. The other awesome thing that this mod does is it allows bosses to be treated as humans, beasts, and robotics for his hunt skills. So for something like Hunter's Eye, remember how I said that skill benefits boss runs? This is why. Because of this, we get increased armor damage, critical hit damage, and damage reduction against the bosses. Since this is a different class mod from the one I use for my mob running, instead of being at 7 out of 5 on Hunter's Eye, I'm at 8, which increases those buffs even more. As far as grenade, artifact, and shield, you can pretty much use whatever you like. I'm sure if you used an elemental projector, you could melt bosses even faster, but even without that, I could deal with a boss like Grave Ward pretty easily. As for the weapons, I was using a radiation crossroad. I feel like the crossroad works really well on Flak since it doesn't have too long of a reload time. It deals a lot of damage and also comes in a lot of elements. While testing this build, I also found another cryo crossroad and even tried that on Flak and it also worked really well. I also used a butcher. The shotgun does a ton of damage with the right modifiers, so it felt good to use. I also noticed that my Arctic Hawkins was doing a lot of damage, which surprised me because there aren't many SMGs besides the Cutsman or the Crossroad that can melt bosses, but I definitely was able to erase Grave Ward with it. For my final weapon, I used the Lyuda. I used other weapons to test the damage, but honestly, if you're looking to just speed run bosses, the Lyuda is the way to go. Now to finish things off with the mob setup. I only change a few things here, and one of the main things being the class mod. The class mod I use is called the Cosmic Stalker. It increases your hunt skill power by 25%, so all of those hunting kill skills are included. On top of that, it gives a buff to Hunter's Eye, Interplanetary Stalker, and Big Game, which are all skills that benefit you heavily in combat. As for weapons, I keep the same Radiation Crossroad, and the only real change here is I use a Cash Infused Brainstormer. For those who saw my Zane build, you know I like using this weapon to erase the shields of enemies, and it works the same for Flak. As for the other two weapons, you can mix and match whatever you prefer, though I would recommend carrying at least one corrosive weapon to deal with armor, but to be honest, while I was testing, I really didn't need one too much because I melted through their armor anyways. But that's about everything for this build slash setup video. I wanted to make this video because a lot of flak builds were made in the past for one-shotting bosses or just melting bosses super quickly, which is definitely helpful late game. But with these recent patches, those builds are becoming less and less viable. And I also wanted to make something that new players could look at and use if they're not farming bosses all the time. Maybe running true vault hunter mode or side missions or slaughter farming, proving grounds, anything like that. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated and comment down below if you have any questions regarding the build. If you do, I will do my best to help you out. Until the next video, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you later. Peace.